What is going on everyone? Enzo here. I haven't been on here in a while. I was actually out of my home country for about a month or so. So that's why I haven't posted for a month or so. But this year I wanted to try something different and play some ultimate team. Honestly, it gets career mode is a lot of fun, but it gets a little monotonous and boring just playing the computer all the time as fun as a uh, career mode is so this year I wanted to go ahead and give ultimate team a shot and I'm honestly having a lot of fun with it right now I mean I'm terrible guys I'll admit like I'm terrible versus other <laughs> human players right now but I'm getting a little better every game but I'm having a lot of fun going in here and playing with all these different like uh just playing with all the different modes and just getting the hang of it. I'm brutally slow on the menus right now, so you have to bear with me on that. I tried to skip through a lot of these because I was like an 80-year-old man trying to figure out where everything was and trying to figure figure out how everything about Ultimate Team works. But my first couple of players there, I got Bocchetti, I got Ensaldi. So one of the things too, guys, is I'm not putting any money into this. This is going to be a complete from the beginning, from scratch, uh, road to glory type of thing. Um, so we got Bocchetti, we got uh, Ansaldi, and then we got Van Dyke as our lone player. But yeah, when I when I bought FIFA this year, I just got the base $60 game suit, the basic game that comes with no extras, and I'm not going to be putting any additional money into Ultimate Team. And basically, the point of this series is to see myself like a below average to average FIFA player uh, spend no money in Ultimate Team and see how far I can go and uh, go and make it. So uh, I was terrible the first few games, just to let you guys know. But I'm getting, uh, I've been getting a lot better lately. And the last few, it probably will be a few more videos down the road because I've played a lot since since I'm recording this now. But I've been getting better the last few games, so there is hope after all. But so. Again, guys, here's some of the places I was looking through the menus, trying to figure out where everything was. There's our team we're going to start with. Uh, obviously, I'm going to do a Serie A team because Serie A was... I, I watched pretty much... I watched uh, most of the best teams in the world play, you know, here and there, regardless of what league they are in. But Serie A is what I am most familiar with personally. So that's what I'm going to do because that's where my heart is anyway. So uh, our team is obviously pretty brutal right now, filled with bronze and silvers we got morsa kane up there at top who juve inexplicably sold for 32 million pounds something in that realm to everton over the summer i don't know what they were thinking with that honestly maybe maybe they just don't value his long-term prospects like like other clubs do but i i feel like being 19 20 years old morsa kane could show a lot of could be amazing down the line but you know Juve is one of those clubs that wants to win right now not not five years from now so uh maybe that was part of their thinking um anyway back here so I was going through trying to again guys still getting the hang of how the market and everything like that works uh I ended up just quick selling a lot of these players which honestly was just a lack of discipline on my part I don't know how much you could actually get back for a lot of these players so it was a little bit lazy on my part but I just wanted to get into the game and just start playing so I probably should have listed all these players I don't know again guys I don't know how much you would actually get back instead of quick selling it so that's something I should get better at and start start looking more into but I just wanted to get some coins built up real quick off the bat here and uh and start building my team up we actually got Jao Pedro too who is an extremely underrated uh striker in he plays for Cagliari and he's been pretty good the last few years not really a household name playing at a mid table team but he will form a nice partnership with Moise Kane right off the bat um so I was still sifting here trying to see if I can make some build up some extra coins for selling some of these silver and bronze I don't think you really get anything back through these guys nope so I think what I'm going to do too well actually here guys I was looking at a striker to see because I figured the best thing to do is get goals in the team so oh yeah I forgot Ante Rebic went to Milan I don't think he's featured much at all this season don't know if he's injured Caputo very underrated player for Sassuolo I think he was with Empoli last year before they got relegated um so Immobile is going to be out of our budget your boy Jarvino. Uh I thought about him for a while but I'm playing with I was pl I'm playing with a 442 for now um so I might throw Jervinho out there on the wing. Scored that amazing goal last season. I don't remember who it was versus, but uh, who it was against. But if you guys look up just Jervinho goal from last season, he scored a he scored an, a sweet end-to-end -end goal last year. 
Uh, I was looking for left-sided players, too, to slot in that left side of the 4-4-2. Uh, Douglas Costa there. In the long run, like, my ultimate goal is to have Douglas Costa as my right right winger, uh, right midfielder, pushing forward type of player just because of his electric pace. He's just so talented. I wish he... I wish he could stay healthy, because when healthy, Douglas Costa is almost unstoppable. I don't know if you... I'm trying to remember who Juve played. Was it Spurs a couple years ago? There was one game where Douglas... Well, there's a lot of games where he does this, but like sometimes you'll watch him, and he'll just go by... He'll go by his wing back or who's ever guarding him. He'll go by him every time. Like, literally every time. He'll just, he'll just flick the ball and go by, go by him, so... But anyways, coming ba anyway, back on task, I was looking at some uh, Roma players here who's, if you guys don't know me, my favorite club is Roma, so I think that's why I was kind of gravitating to to these sorts of players. I'm Mkhitaryan, I know Arsenal fans are not happy with him, but, but we'll take him over here at Roma. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and place him as my right-sided midfielder for now. I was thinking about Spinazzola on the left. And then, so what happened here, guys, too, is I got Politano. I didn't realize at the time, I thought that you could, the position modifier, I thought you can just do left midfielder to right midfielder. I didn't realize it was only, like, left midfielder to left winger. So, again, I'm still not 100% familiar with the game. So I ended up with Politano and Mkhitaryan both in that right midfield slot because what I wanted to do was have Politano cutting in off the right and Mkhitaryan cutting in on the left. But... I didn't realize you couldn't you couldn't switch their position. So um, go ahead and get Jamaili here to fill in the middle. Long time solid center midfielder, box to box type. He's been one of the, he's one of those guys that's never been amazing, but he's always been solid for such a long time now. So our team's really coming together though. Now we have I skipped off the menu too quickly there, but we had Mkhitaryan on the left, Politano on the right. Kane and Jao Pedro up front, Jamaili and Baselli in the middle, and Florenzi is our right back on loan. This guy's got a studly team. I figured the first few games I was going to come up with teams that were far more skilled than myself, just because this, this is my first game and I don't put any, I'm not putting any money into the game or anything like that. But right off the bat, Busquets into the far left corner, coming up against a pretty darn good La Liga team right here. Busquets in the midfield. He had Morata up top. I think he has Rodrigo in there. Um, Thomas Rodriguez, I believe, in the middle. So he is a really solid, skillful team. Again, guys, remember I said at the beginning of the video, I am trash right now. So I'm going to get probably thumped in my first couple of games. Right there, I think that what ha I mean, I should have stepped up on him, but I also have a 60 rated. I think I have a bronze keeper in the net for this game which I quickly replaced that the cool thing about this game is, is I'm almost glad I was trashed the first few games because the coolest thing about ultimate team is just building your way up and getting better and better every time you play so I mean I expected to lose the first few games and, and not really do too well um you know after not playing for a while but and being you know average in general but I'm, I'm getting better and better every time but they are gonna put another one in the far corner Murata puts them up three nothing oh and we are getting rolled right now <laughs> Moisa Kane we have a chance on the other end getting a little bit of pressure going I really noticed the difference with the I'm still getting used to the chemistries too guys because I'm not used to it. normally when you play career mode there's no chemistry so you really notice the difference when the chemistries aren't lined up so that's something I worked on as the series progressed I have a chance in here Bocchetti Center back is not who you want on the ball right there. João Pedro, ball trickles out for a corner. We are getting a lot of pressure here going, though. Maziello, probably not who we should have taking the corner. The cool, like, again, guys, like I said, the cool thing is you make little tweaks every time you play Ultimate Team that make you slightly better. But right here, it's going to fall to Daniele Baselli. Goal! In the bottom left corner, pulls off the front flip. And we have one on the board. <laughs> The minnows, the minnows, put one in, get up through, this, this must be what it feels like to be a provincial club, <laughs> Maziello, terrible pass, gives it right away, that one could have totally been avoided, we gave him that goal, nice finish though by Rodrigo on his weaker right foot into the far corner, 4-1, and we are being thumped right now, I don't know if we're, I don't think, 
I don't know if this is our stadium or their stadium. I think it's their stadium because this team's called the All Blacks and there's New Zealand flags in the crowd. I don't know if this guy was from New Zealand or not. Cool anyway, but they're going to come back the other way here. Hamas, Hamas to Geddes, Gonzalo Geddes. Can we contain him? Going to put it up top. Rodrigo defending a little bit better here, but he still finds a way to bury it in the bottom left corner. 5-1. Again, guys, the whole point of this series is about the journey. So I'm, I'm not going to be one of those people that like only post me winning. The whole point of this, this series is a journey to basically go from, you know, the bottom as far as I can. So this, this is almost, I don't want to say a good thing, but it's almost good to start off, start off being thumped 5-1 with a brutal gameplay and terrible uh, as we absolutely lay off Rodrigo. Bocchetti has enough has had enough straight red card all day long didn't want to give up another easy goal gonna take this one top of the box first time lays it off first time free kick let's defend leave with a little bit of dignity out for a corner I noticed too that it, the defending is much different I noticed man-to-man -man defending works much better in this game rather than off ball defending and then uh, the double team the R holding R1 I noticed that doesn't work nearly as good this year which I kind of like because it forces you to just get better at defending yourself rather than having the computer do it anyway guys thank you for stopping by I think this is gonna be the end of the game here <laughs> we're going to be thumped 5-1. The only way to go from here is up, so I guess that's a good thing. Again, guys, the whole point of the series is about improving. So we'll see where we can go from here. I will be back on Wednesday at 10. I'm going to just be posting Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern U.S. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Thank you guys for stopping by if you're still here. Uh, get rolled 5-1, but we can only get better. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. I will see you Wednesday at 10 a.m. Peace.